we had three wonderful works in our sale by Frederick Lord Leighton. Leighton was one of the grand um, major Victorian painters. Um, he became president of the Royal Academy. He was ennobled into Baron Leighton. These are the first time these three works have been up for auction. The subject of these is Lindisfarne Castle, which is on Holy Island on the Northumberland coast. Um, it has a wonderful history to it. It's now managed by the National Trust uh, and is a, is a very popular place to visit. Leighton was spellbound by this location and that's really saying something for an artist who travelled all around Europe. Leighton is known for his grand set piece pictures such as Flaming June, but what's so wonderful about these sketches and why his sketches are so popular is they have a real immediacy to them. They were painted en plein air. It, it's an artist reacting to his environment and really just creating a little aid memoir, capturing the different sort of atmosphere and the light changes. He went out with a group of artists to Italy in the 1850s and they styled themselves the Etruscans um, and they painted uh, out in the Italian landscape. They were greatly influenced by the great, probably the greatest oil sketcher, Corro, um, who was painting out in Italy in the 1820s and they looked at his little oil sketches that he produced and were inspired by, by those. He loved these sketches himself and if you see photos of his studio house in Kensington, um, you see the, the, the studio walls lined floor to ceiling with wonderful little sketches just like these. Oil sketches um, over the last few decades have become increasingly popular. I think modern collectors respond to the directness of them. They might not like an artist's grand, rather stiff set piece works, but I think in these pictures they're looking at it through very modern eyes. These views have a wonderful backstory to them. He gave them to his great friend Samuel Cockrell. Cockrell he knew for many years and was one of Leighton's executors. Uh, Leighton would visit Cockrell up in Northumberland where he lived and they've just passed down through the generations. <laughs>